Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by the Tamron 24-70 2.8VC G2. This is a high-speed zoom designed to maximize the potential of the latest high-pixel cameras while delivering best-in-class image quality with the use of new specialized high-quality glass that offers great optical transmittance. Now, I think Tamron has done a fantastic job with their new G2 lineup. To learn more about this lens, head on over to bit.ly slash Tron 2470 G2. First up, last week I was completely out of commission and unable to film the fix. Now thankfully I'm feeling much better now and I'm ready to deliver you the news, starting with this. We all know Nikon has a big gaping hole. Wow, what a hole. In this case, they call that hole their Z-mount. As Nikon dicks around by taking advantage of that huge gaping hole, others are speculating as to the largest aperture lens the Z-mount could possibly handle. But thank you, Eddie. Thanks to Ace reporting from the French photo blog, Mrs. Awari, and their interview with Nikon France's marketing director, Nicolas Gillet, or Gillette. I'm not sure which one you have. We have an official but theoretical answer from Nikon. For the record, I can't do a French accent, so it says, Nikon's optical engineers have calculated that the Z mount can accept lenses up to F 0.65. Dan, that's gonna be a chody lens. I'm theoretically worth $10 million. Well, just because you can theorize it doesn't make it a reality, Nikon. Don't you forget about it. The point of this story is honestly, not much. I simply just wanted to say gaping hole. Could Sony be readying a 60 megapixel sensor that's capable of shooting 8K video and 16-bit RAW files? The answer is sure. Why not? Sony Alpha Rumors is reporting with near certainty, which actually means nothing because they are a rumor site and will say just about anything they want to get more clicks. Now they're saying that Sony is preparing a massive sensor to come out shortly. They are reporting that the sensor will be 60 megapixels and be capable of shooting 16-bit RAW files at 4.6 frames a second, 14-bit RAW files at 12 frames a second, 8K 30p 12-bit video, 8K 60p video at 10-bit, and 4K 60p at 12 bit. There's no doubt in my mind that Sony is working on their future cameras. Now, I personally find it hard to believe that they will jump right to 8K video, bypassing 6K, which I think is the next logical step. Not to mention that after two seconds of filming, the camera will probably catch fire. What do you think? Will we see 8K sensors soon? Continuing on the rumor train, Canon Rumors, who is a hell of a lot more reputable than Sony Alpha Rumors, is reporting that Canon is planning on releasing a full-frame EOS R camera that packs a 75 megapixel sensor. We've heard it directly from Canon in the past that they're not done yet, and we should expect a few more full frame mirrorless cameras in the not too distant future. Canon Rumors is also reporting that Canon isn't planning on replacing the 50 megapixel 5DS and 5DXR, which actually have never been updated anyway. I find it interesting that they're reporting that the next EOS R will be more of an entry level camera. In my opinion, I think we would see something along the lines of a 5D Mark IV in a mirrorless body with two card slots, 30 plus megapixels, and a new sensor. I also think it's highly unlikely we will see a 5D Mark V DSLR and that the Pro DSLR has reached the end of its life. So what do you think? Do you think Canon should kill the 5D Mark V in favor of going all in on mirrorless? And finally, a wedding photographer has been arrested for having sex with a guest peeing on a tree and threatening police officers. Dan, go ahead and flash the uh, mugshot. No, no, that's Ken Rockwell, it wasn't him. This normally wouldn't have made the news except for the fact that the photographer was a woman and, and a model as well, meaning she's attractive. It's kind of like when a female teacher sleeps with one of her students, it only gets reported when she's hot. Nice. Now don't get upset with me for saying that because you know it's true. It's, it's true, Dan, it's true. Nice. Here's the story. 26 year old wedding photographer, Catherine Lee Meta was shooting a wedding in Texas. Well, there's her first problem, it's Texas. 
The news report goes on to say that she was caught having sex with a male wedding guest. What it doesn't say is where they were having sex, because that's what I want to know. Was it in the bathroom? If so, was it in the men's room, the women's room, or one of those family-friendly ones? Was it on one of those koala baby changing stations? The world wants to know this stuff. Nonetheless, the wedding party somehow found out that she was having sex and informed an off-duty sheriff deputy who so happened to be working security at the venue. Not even supposed to be here today. Meta was told her behavior was inappropriate and she was asked to leave. On her way out the door, she yelled near a fountain. Now, it probably sounded something like this. Screw you, fountain. You don't own me. I do what I want. After yelling at the fountain, she reportedly went to a tree and began to urinate. Arresting deputies noticed a strong odor of alcohol and later found prescription medicine in her jacket. On the way to jail, she reportedly made death threats towards the officer's families. Do you think the wedding couple will get their deposit back? Because in my contract, it says, if I have sex with a guest, I am still owed my money and maybe a tip as well. Meta's sister tells WFAA8 that her sister is actually the victim in the story, claiming she was given a spike drink and taken advantage of by two men. Now, any way you slice this, this is a disturbing story. I hope the police are able to get to the bottom of what actually happened, and if she was drugged, that rape charges are filed. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix. This time around to check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that is where I'll leave it. Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.